And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Tuesday, April 23rd. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys as always to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link, that is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So, that being said, let's get into what we are going to talk about for today. So, we're going to start off the show. Well, a few things happened yesterday. So, the first one was the Chiefs extended a couple of guys. They extended their general manager. They extended their head coach, uh, as well as their uh, president, uh, as well. Um... So we'll get into that uh, in a second. Uh, Andy Reid, of course, uh, Brett Veach, and Mark Donovan. So we'll get into all that in a second. Then in the second part of the show, we'll talk about Matt Ryan announcing his retirement officially. Last season, spent the whole year in the broadcast booth for CBS and did have, I well, there was speculation that he had interest in, you know, when the Jets were dealing with their issues at quarterback when Aaron Rodgers went down, that he was one of those quarterbacks that, was reaching out to them, as well as Carson Wentz. But he ended up staying in the booth and officially announced his retirement from football. So we'll talk about that in the second segment. Then in the third part of the show, with the Jets, like I just mentioned, Zach Wilson did indeed get traded to the Denver Broncos. So we will talk about that in the third part of the show. And then for the final part of the show, we'll talk about uh, Tyree Kill and him praising his head coach, Mike McDaniel for something that happened in the playoff game against the Chiefs. So we'll get into that as well. So with that being said, let's get into the first topic, which is actually talking about the Chiefs and uh, them extending a few guys. So like I said, they extended their team president, general manager, and their head coach, Andy Reid, and basically extended Andy Reid and Brett Veach through 2029 so that's you know a long time from now that's five years down the line which again there was a lot of speculation on whether Andy Reid was going to retire or not there were some rumors floating around that you know maybe that was coming and doesn't seem like that's happening anytime soon and I know throughout the offseason I talked about how Mahomes is not going to have Andy Reid. He's not going to have Travis Kelsey forever. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens when those two guys ultimately retire. And at least for the moment, I mean, for Andy Reid, he's going to be around for a while. With Travis Kelsey, he's nearing the end. He's closer to the end than Andy Reid is because I don't think Travis Kelsey is playing till 2029 I don't think that's happening I think you're gonna see Travis Kelsey I mean you're gonna see Travis Kelsey play for a few more seasons but I think he's eventually gonna call it a career you're not gonna see Travis Kelsey playing into his 40s that's not happening but at least for right now the Chiefs are bringing the band back together for years to come because you're gonna have Mahomes you signed him to his massive contract now you extended Andy Reid. You extended Chris Jones. So Chris Jones is going to still be around for a while on defense, which is huge. And Travis Kelsey, I mean, Travis Kelsey's not going anywhere. It's either he's going to stick with the Chiefs or he's going to retire, which he's going to retire at some point. Like I said, I, I think between now and 2029, I think Travis Kelsey will retire within that time frame now whenever that comes up we'll see because he did play hurt during the regular season then he looked like the Travis Kelsey of old in the postseason but I again I I don't want to be talking about this because again this what we're watching is amazing and I know a lot of people are not fans of it because they're sick of it but it's really we're witnessing greatness right now with this team and they're keeping everybody together, not just, you know, on the football field, but up top as well. They got stability. 
and that's going to continue. And again, any speculation on Andy Reid retiring anytime soon? That well, that's that's out the window. Because when he retire, if when this contract is up, I'm going to be almost thirty years old, which is scary to think about. But um, it's I mean again, it's uh, what the Chiefs did was good. Obviously, you know, bringing um, bringing these guys, well, extending these guys. So, with the Chiefs, of course, uh, under the leadership of Andy Reid, the Chiefs have achieved achieved a combined record between the regular season and the postseason, a record of 100 wins and 34 losses. They have secured seven consecutive AFC West division titles, four AFC Championship game wins, and six straight. AFC title game appearances. And Reed has a career record of 284 wins, including postseason, and is one of five coaches in NFL history to win at least three Super Bowls. And definitely he's going to win more. I, I, it's, I, I, I think it's, I don't want to say it's safe to say, but I think it's very likely that he will win another one with this, with this team. And I actually didn't realize this, but Brett Veach started his NFL career as a coaching intern for Reed's Eagles in 2004 and became the Chiefs general manager in 2017. I didn't know that. Uh, Donovan joined the Chiefs. Now, this is the team president. Mark Donovan joined the Chiefs in 2009 as chief operation officer and later became team president. Uh, the Chiefs' recent Super Bowl win marks their fourth overall with three victories achieved under the leadership of Reed, Veach, and Donovan. And... Like I said, stability is a big thing for them going forward, and that's what they have. You know, now they got the guys up top, and Andy Reid extended. You got Patrick Mahomes extended, Chris Jones extended. I mean, this team is ready. This team is ready to roll. Uh, going into next year and beyond that, and um, I just wanted to talk about what a couple things or some things Andy Reid had to say, if I can find it within the article that I had because there is a quote from him if I can find it uh, yeah so he said I'm incredibly grateful to chairman and CEO Clark Hunt and the entire Hunt family for giving me the opportunity to lead this historic franchise over the last 11 years Tammy and I have enjoyed calling Kansas City our home the community has embraced us we've watched our family grow including having all 12 grandkids during our time here on the field there have been so many people that have contributed to our success and Super Bowls, and I'm grateful to the players, coaches, and staff that have all invested their time in the process. I'd also like to thank my agent, uh, Bob Lamont. Chiefs Kingdom is a special place, and I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be here. And, yeah, I, I mean, listen, it's it's been a successful, successful tenure in Kansas City for Andy Reid, and that's going to continue. Now, you could say that Patrick Mahomes has a lot to do with that, which is very true. But Patrick Mahomes stepped into a good situation. You know, sat behind Alex Smith, did start the final week of the regular season back in 2017, and then became the full-time starter once they traded Alex Smith. And Patrick Mahomes, from the first game where he was the full-time starter, just never looked back. And he's got three Super Bowls, got a couple of MB MVPs. I mean, he's he has a Hall of Fame career right now. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer, and he's only been a starter now, you know, since 2018. He could retire right now and go to the Hall of Fame. That's just how good his career has been. And he's got... His haters, of course, which everybody does. Even I have some. But it, it it's Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes go hand in hand. Now again, Andy Reid has won a lot, won a lot of games even before Patrick Mahomes, but he never was able to win the game, the big game, and. That ended up happening. 
once Patrick Mahomes got there. Patrick Mahomes brought that Chiefs offense to new heights. And three Super Bowls later, look at them. They're a dynasty. And Andy Reid has a lot to do with that. Patrick Mahomes has a lot to do with that. And now they're looking to three-peat. And they could very well do that. Now, there's going to be teams that are going to stand in their way and try to stop them. Are they going to be able to? Like I always say, we'll have, we'll have to wait and see. Because the conference is loaded. But you look and you see the struggles that the Chiefs went through. And, well, particularly on offense. And myself and many others thought, yeah, this is probably not going to be the year that they're going to do it. But they did it. Regardless. They weren't they have they weren't as loaded as they have been in years past on offense. No Tyreek Hill. And without Tyreek Hill, they who we'll talk about later in the show, they went on to win back to back Super Bowls. And they're you know, you, you think they're going to be even better on offense next year. And even if they struggle again, does it really matter? Last year showed you that even if they struggle through the regular season, they could still win the whole thing. And that's exactly what they did. And through it all, they were still able to, you know, weather the storm and get through the tough regular season. And go on another playoff run and win the whole thing. And Patrick Mahomes won his first two road playoff games. That was something we've never seen. Patrick Mahomes play, a, you know, because they they're always playing at home. How is Patrick Mahomes going to play on the road in the playoffs? Which, I, you know, I think everybody knew he was going to be fine. But it, it was something new. And he, and he finally did it and beat the Bills and... Beat the Ravens. And if the Chiefs get home field advantage again next year, well, who's going in there and beating them? Joe Burrow. That's that's the only one that, that that's the only player that's done it. That's still playing. Everybody's calling for Tom Brady to come back, and there was, you know, Tom Brady, there was that video of him running, working out. So Maybe he's uh, he's gearing up to come back late in the season, pull a uh, pull a Joe Flacco, and come back late in the season. But it's li listen, it's going to be tough for anyone to try to beat this team. And like I said, they got stability, extending the guys from up top, down. It, it's they're a machine and. They're going to look to continue their success in 2024. And they want to be able to three-peat. And, and like I've been saying, they, had, they got a great shot to do that. Now, again, no, no, other, no NFL team has ever done that. So if they're able to achieve that, that would be unbelievable. But it's a long season and things happen. So who knows? But again, if the Chiefs struggle on offense like they did in 2023 and they still make the playoffs, well, don't count them out. It's like, It was like the Patriots, too. Don't count them out either until they're officially out. And like I said, the Chiefs, despite trading Tyree Kill, back-to-back -back Super Bowls and looking to win a third one. And that's a credit to the organization as a whole, being able to draft well. And also having Patrick Mahomes, which they drafted. And like I said, looking to the repeat or three peat in twenty twenty four. And they've been they've talked about it a lot. So we'll see if they end up doing it. Draft is on Thursday, so they're gonna be looking to add more players as well. Well, the day one of the draft is on Thursday. So we'll see what they end up doing with their first pick. So 
we're going to take our first break of the show. And then when we come back, we'll talk about another quarterback. We're going to talk about Matt Ryan, him announcing his retirement, get into talking about his career, and give you my thoughts on his career. And that is what we will discuss when we come back from our first break of the show. So, with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 